What is the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. We're back with another weekly, I suppose, uh, reminder, weekly reminder, let's just say, uh, of the form players. So a lot of people actually that are coming new to the game uh, are kind of asking me about the player forms, like the A and the B arrows. I already have done about three to four videos on the player form and what it does to your team, what it does to the player stats in game, how the form, the A, B, C, D, or E change into player form arrows when you go into a game. So basically, uh, just to give a short recap on that, obviously veterans of the series of guys that have been playing e football for a while will understand this, but if you've got a form arrow or a form here, right? So we go in here and we see that the live update Maldini is a B because he's a legend. But if we see somebody like Neymar, Neymar is the standard version of him. His live update rating is an A, which you can see here, right? That coupled with this form down here you can see form unwavering it makes up what your player is going to be rated as in game when you actually start a match like when you start a match um in the game you will have a, this live update will turn from an a into a form arrow so the form arrow obviously then will dictate that if you've got a blue form arrow it'll give a boost to your stats if you've got a red form arrow it'll be a, de a degrade of your stats so yeah that's just a quick recap but check out i have a load of videos done on that so for me in this squad this week lads this was a squad that we've been rocking all week as we go in pursuit of division one but unfortunately we've got our main man kimmy who is going to give us a bit of a problem at right back lads he is going to give us a slight problem because Cancelo is all also down we've also got Vinny Jr down and we have Rafa Silva down so uh, I'm going to have to find a right back obviously that's going to be my biggest priority here Salah is up Haaland is back up um, I think we've also got Dembele Marquinhos is on a B form Salah is on an A form De Bruyne uh, Scolzi uh, Romanelli uh, De Jong, Dembele, oh Dembele is coming straight back in lads, he's going to come straight back in, we'll make room for him somewhere, uh, but yeah I definitely do need a right back, that is probably the main area that I need to improve, just to be able to get that in, we do have Jordi Alba there as well, but um, I think we'll probably put in, let me see, uh, yeah we could potentially put in Salah as well, but yeah Cancelo needs to go and I need to get that right back. So what I usually do every week, lads, is I go over to eFootballDB.com. All right, so over here on eFootballDB, very easily, we've also got the Player of the Weeks up this week here on eFootballDB. I will be doing a video to showcase this database as well um, because us guys at Pez Universe have partnered with this with this uh, team of guys that are doing eFootballDB. So there's a couple of guys involved from Pez Uni and a couple of guys that are doing this development of it uh, but it will be expanded out but yeah um, this is the database I use for all asking I will be doing a, a tutorial on it or a kind of a, a deep dive on it quite soon as well as a couple of other content creators so very easily what I usually do every Thursday to check the condition of the players is I go A to A here in the basic settings exit out of that and then it gives you every player that's on A form this week so you've got Salah, De Bruyne, Neymar, De Jong, Verratti and then obviously whatever position that you want so if I'm looking for uh, a right midfielder or a right back say I'm looking for a right back instead of Kimi I can go in here and I can see okay Hakimi is on A form this week so maybe that's somebody that I'll go in and buy um, if I want to have a proper proper right back obviously his form is only on two there um, and then you can go from you know go from that so I would definitely say that my recommendations for this week for the guys that are on A form are definitely going to be Hakimi as we already spotted here um nice easy way to train up the players as well so for Hakimi I will probably focus a little bit on defense and then obviously on his speed and his acceleration which goes quite high and then be able to have a bit of dribbling that's not bad and then probably focus the rest on defending here to bring him up to get that aggressiveness up when he's getting the ball but this guy is a monster man it's a pity he only has uh, low balance uh, but his speed and acceleration are more than enough to be able to to have him in your squad this week definitely going to be buying him which we'll do in a minute we've also got hernandez here so yeah i mean this guy was absolutely insane in eFootball 2022 he's this card isn't as good but with the a form this week i definitely would have him in get that dribbling up also get the dexterity up the lower body up 
and then the rest is going to be going into defending. So he's a very similar card to Cancelo. We could even take away that a little bit, bring it down to 90 and 90, and then put the defending up to like 77, 77, 75, 75. You've also got all the ball control. Uh, another one is Verratti. I have a load of versions of Verratti. I think I have every single version of him from the player of the week one, or the from the pack. I have this one here. Um, and I have this one here, the standard card. So uh, he is, yeah, he's very decent. I'm definitely going to be trying him out this week. And again, you're looking at getting that speed up a little bit, uh, maybe to the 70s and then getting his defense up, which goes quite high. You want him to be kind of like the Makalele type player with a little more of an engine on him. You don't really need to focus too much on the passing because he's got really good passing as it is there. That's enough for a DMF. Dribbling is the same. And then the rest is going to be at your discretion, whether you want to have him a little bit faster or you want to have that defensive side of his game up with the aggression, I think he's a really solid card, especially on a farm this week. We've also got Golovin, who I think is probably my player of the week, my player of uh, buy-in this week. I did it last week with Pedri, and a lot of people were impressed with Pedri. I mean, it's Pedri, lads. He's unbelievable. But this guy is kind of like a mini Messi, man. He's so, so good. You can see that his passing is really nice. His dribbling is really nice. His speed is really nice. You're talking about eight. He's in everything there. You don't need to focus too much on his defense or his aerial strength or his shooting or anything like that because you're not going to be able to max it out anyway. But I definitely would be looking at making him kind of like your attacking midfielder type player. Get that dribbling up, get that dexterity up, and then maybe have one on shooting or one into whichever formation that you want to have, uh, play style there that you want to have. Definitely worth buying as well for around, what, 50,000 GP? Um, or 32,000 GP, even better. And then we've got Dembele, lads. I'm still working on my review for Dembele, but I'm, I'm taking my time with it because I think he could be potentially my first ever 10 out of 10 player. He is so good. I know Anthony was very highly rated. We also have Neymar and Sané and Mane on the wingers as well as wingers. But this guy, lads, is I think he's my best and favorite player to use, definitely. I think he's just absolutely insane. That's all you really need there. That's all you need. The passing... You can put six into passing if you want to bring up his passing um, a little bit. But to be honest with you, you don't really need it. Let's 70 will do with the low pass there. It just give him one. And then you're obviously going to be throwing in the rest into dribbling. If you want to be dribbling and absolutely destroying people, you can still focus one point there on the passing to bring it up to 71. And then last but not least, we have... This guy, which is kind of, yeah, another guy that's definitely worth a look at to bring him onto your subs um, for 32,000 GP. He doesn't have super sub, but he is an absolute giant and he's unbelievable in the air. And all we're going to be doing is focusing on crosses for this guy. So we're going to be getting eight points into that. And we're also going to be hopefully getting um, a bit of speed on him. So we're going to be bringing that up. We don't need to bring that up too much because his offensive awareness is the main one, 80. And then obviously we're going to get try and get maybe 80 with speed. And then a little bit of shooting as well, just to bring him up to speed with that one. And then, uh, yeah, we can do two dribbling if you want. I mean, all you're going to be doing with this guy, lads, is completely shattering the mold of, you know, one-touch passes and stuff like that. All you're going to be doing with this guy is shooting on sight. You don't need to dribble. You don't even need that much pace, to be honest with you. I think 75 pace would be enough. And then max out his header to the max that it can go at 96. You've got physical contact 96 as well. So, yeah, that is it for me. We're just going to go in here and buy Hakimi, who we said that we were going to buy there a second ago because he is on A form after researching a little bit. And we are going to get Hakimi and put him into the squad straight off the rip. Um, I, I thought I had this guy, but sh I, I obviously don't. Uh, but yeah, insane stats, lads. Absolutely insane stats. I think he's more of an attack-based right back, but we are going to try him out. I mean, he's not that expensive, 110,000 GP. He's not that expensive when we're, uh, we're a milli on uh, on uh, Monty Burns on eFootball. So we'll buy Hakimi, we'll train him up, we'll slot him in, and he'll be in the next episode of eFootball's Dream Team Chronicles that I'm doing. So we'll talk to you later, lads. Hope this video helped you guys, and I'll talk to you in a bit.